you positive heads out there. Thanks for tuning your beautiful brainwaves into another episode of the Positive Head Podcast, where we are firmly convinced that creating success and happiness is rooted in understanding the ultimate nature of reality and the fact that as human beings, we are all immensely powerful fractals of the one and only source consciousness, which creates and animates all things. Now, of course, understanding this powerful truth is one thing. Applying this incredibly empowering wisdom to everyday life? Well, that's another. Which is exactly why we provide you with a fresh serving of soul food for thought five days a week to help constantly remind you of what matters most. You are it. And I'm your host, Brandon Beecham. I'm the reflection and extension of you who will be here each Wednesday interviewing a different consciousness change maker. And on the other four weekdays, leading the way to ensure that your perspective is consistently expanded, your vibration is constantly elevated, and your heart is overflowing and full. Also, before we jump into today's episode, I'd like to take a moment to tell you about a few sponsors that not only help to make it possible to produce this show five days a week, but that I'm also genuinely passionate about promoting especially since they're helping to fund all the cool projects we have in the works, such as the Positive Head app, the docuseries that I'm intending to begin shooting within the next year, and whatever else we dream up over here at Positive Headquarters to help spread consciousness across the planet. Now, if you're short on time or just super excited for today's topic and want to dive right in and skip these ads, feel free to fast forward about four minutes to get right into today's show. That being said, I strongly encourage you to listen because the reason I'm passionate about my sponsors is because they've made a huge impact in my own life, which is why I've aligned with these organizations. And I firmly believe they can do the same for you too. The first longtime stellar supporter of this show that I want to mention is Gaia. If you're not familiar, Gaia is the go-to source for streaming consciousness content online with over 8,000 video titles. And you can sign up for your first month for only 99 cents at Gaia.com forward slash positive head. That's spelled G-A-I-A dot com forward slash positive head. The second sponsor I'm extremely passionate about promoting is Purium. It's no mystery that bringing your mind, body and spirit into balance is necessary if a person truly intends to manifest the greatest and grandest version of themselves. And as of recording this, it's been about mm, four months since I started taking the Purium Core 4 Superfood products every day. And I can honestly and sincerely say my mind, body, and spirit have never felt more in alignment. If you've been looking for a way to easily get superfoods into your system every day with a simple plan that can help you reestablish a healthier foundation and relationship with food, I cannot recommend for you to start with the Purium 40-Day Ultimate Nutrition Plan, which includes a 10-day metabolic reset and cleanse enough. I spent personally months researching Purium before I jumped in, and now myself and over 150 other positive heads have started with the 40-Day Ultimate Nutrition Plan, and many of us have continued taking the Core 4 products on an ongoing basis daily ever since. I personally intend to take them for the rest of my life because they played a huge role transforming my vibrational state. If you decide to do it, it'll cost you just over $7 a day for the first 40 days and only about $5 a day after. But if you do it the way that I recommend you to do it, the smartest and most beneficial way, it won't cost you anything. I recommend you to just look at where you can reallocate money you are already spending on food each day. Essentially, you're just going to swap out the unhealthiest stuff you're in the habit of purchasing in exchange for Purium Superfoods. And this way, it costs you nothing to participate in the transformation and cleanse. And it creates exponential benefit because now you've replaced something that lowers your vibration with something that is going to make you feel super high in the healthiest kind of way. Just take a few minutes, see where you can cut out five to seven dollars a day and commit to doing it. It's that simple. Also for support, we'll be doing a big group transformation with other positive heads and soul family once each month for support. 
So I recommend, you know, going right now, ordering your 40-day Ultimate Nutrition Plan bundle so that you have it when the next group transformation starts. Procrastination is not your friend. Order it now. You can thank me later because I can assure you, you will not be sorry you've decided to send a message to the universe that you're ready to step up your vibrational game and reclaim your health sovereignty. Just head over to ishoppurium.com. That's spelled I-S-H-O-P. P-U-R-I-U-M dot com. Be sure to use the code positive head, all one word for either $50 off or a 25% discount, whichever is greater. And also, if you want to learn more details about the Purium products, why I'm so passionate about promoting them beforehand, you can go check out several videos I shot discussing these things in greater detail. You can also hear my interview with the very inspiring founder, David Sandoval, Much, much more over at positivehead.com forward slash transformation. All right, all you positive heads, welcome, welcome. Here we grow again. So appreciative to be here with you all as always and always to explore magic, mystery, the ultimate nature of reality. Today I'm going to read again. I'm getting down to the final channelings uh, from the book, uh, The Psychic Explorer by V. Van Damme. And um, I've really enjoyed them. So each week I've been kind of picking one for the last several weeks. This is a pretty obscure uh, book that I got really, really early on. might be the first sort of metaphysical book I ever bought. And it talks all about astral projection and out-of-body experience. And in the back of it, uh, it's a guy's techniques and you know experiences on the astral realm, and then in the in the back are channelings um, from you know different uh, cosmic entities. Primarily, you have like the Earth, the Sun, the stars, Saturn. Um, so I'm getting down to it. There's only a few few left today. I'm going to read from the Cosmic Goddess, God Dash D E S S. So um, yeah, looking forward to that. Haven't read it. In a long, long time, I have no recollection of what's in there uh, from the years back when I originally read this, but I know it'll be good. And um, yeah, before we we jump in and have a little reading excursion for today's episode, I'd like to take a moment to read a review on iTunes. Uh, You guys know I love, love, love my iTunes reviews. Not only do they help us to reach new people, but they definitely help to fuel my fire to continue this labor of love. Um, So if you haven't reviewed on iTunes, please do so. And uh, makes me think also, by the way, speaking of reaching new people, uh, for a long time I've told you guys to have friends or family choose a number between one and whatever the current number of episodes is. I think this is episode 841 right now. Um, and, And then take that as a message from their higher self, whatever number popped in their head and listen to it. And there will be some nugget of wisdom in that episode for them. And well, I've actually now made that thanks to the help of Dalian, we have put together a page just to do that. So it's a very cheeky, fun um, way to co-create synchronicity and magic with the universe uh, and with your friends and family. So uh, yeah, check that out. You can go to positivehead.com forward slash universe y o universe um and uh you know play yourself easily share with friends and family or if you want to share on like facebook if you go to the uh public facing positive head facebook page there is a animated version that you can share you know on facebook uh, to your friends or whatever um right pinned to the top of that page um so yeah would love it if you guys would uh, if you've had any benefit from the show take a few minutes to share this new page because um yeah we're excited about it we think it's a really fun magical way to co-create and uh, hope you do too. Also, if you're not in the private uh, Facebook group, that's Positive Heads with an S. Public is singular. The private group is plural with an S. And um, yeah, you're a great place to connect with other listeners, ask questions, that sort of thing. So we'd love to see you there if you're not there. All right. This uh, particular review came in by Third Eye Wink on iTunes. Life-changing. Brandon, your podcast has helped me focus on the vibration and frequency I am emitting on a daily basis. Some days are still harder than others to live from the highest place possible, but your knowledge combined with the clips you play remind me that I create my own, get this, Y-O universe. (laughs) Love that. Synchronicity right there. Um, I have been listening for over a year now. 
And I could literally write a book about how grateful I am for you and the P-Head community, but I will keep it short and sweet. Thank you for everything. Much love, my friend. Keep up the great work. Well, thank you, Third Eye Wink. Definitely a wink from the universe there, uh, as we've just launched our YO Universe page. Uh, and I was just talking about it. And I just read these reviews as they come in in order. So I had not I had no idea what I was about to read. So pretty, pretty cool. Pretty magical. Magic is real. That's the thing about it. It's like when you step out and meet the universe halfway to co-create magic, it's, it's real, you know? And like this person said here, you're not always going to be in your, you know, not every day is going to be like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm, fl- I'm floating on clouds, right? You're going to have days that are harder than others. But by understanding who and what you are, you uh, really create a space where you know every you can be at peace with what is you can it, you can embrace the process of your life you don't need it to always be perfect or you know ideal and actually i mean it is well let me rephrase that it is always ideal it's always happening for you and not to you and when you get that it's that's the biggest game changer of all because you're like okay this is challenging i'm having a more difficult day but i'm not no longer judging it as wrong or bad i'm allowing everything to just go by um Pema Chodon, I, hopefully I'm getting that right, uh, said, you are the sky. Everything else is just the weather. Wow, how powerful is that? You are the sky. Everything else is just the weather. Just take that in for a minute. Like, you're so vast. Everything just happens. You know, these clouds passing by in your life. Some days it's sh- sun, you know, a lot of sunshine. Other days there is lots of clouds and rain and wind. And you're just, you're the untouched, you know, untouchable sky. And when you start really knowing that and living from that perspective, you, it's just like rapid, rapid level up. And we are doing it. And I'm so proud to have the experience with each and every one of you. All right. So let's jump into. The Cosmic Goddess by V. Van Damme. The book is called The Psychic Explorer. Very obscure book. I've never known anyone else who's even owned it. Um, I probably picked it up 20 years ago so that I could have these readings now, right? Um, So let's see what the Cosmic Goddess has to say for us all today, shall we? Poise. Within the very foundations of your being, there is that which I am. Within the smallest particle of energy or atomic matter, there I can be found also. Yet though I am everywhere, I am equally nowhere. Nevertheless, it should be said that the word God is is itself meaningless. It's just a word, really. It is maybe as a useful way of drawing your attention to the reality of being, to life, to the oneness, and to the transcendent states, as well as the imminent ones. Yet it should be obvious to you by now, having read all this, that I am not describable. These messages in their entirety represent views or angles of perception and experience, potential states to be explored, actual states which certain beings have already entered or accessed and know more or less well. Their descriptions may be helpful to you. However, no one perception can describe the all. Therefore, different messages heralding from different points can cast a light on what it is that I am, but they can never fully encompass what I am. You may have noted how some messages are serious, while others are joyful, even playful, or symbolic, or poetic, or whatever. Each message has its truth as well as its limitations, and that is to be expected. No one channel, or any number of channels for that matter, can truly convey the higher states of reality. The only way to know these states is to experience them directly, personally, and with the full power of life flowing through you without any impedance whatsoever, or as much power as you can handle at the very least. Beyond time and space, I am. Beyond energy and matter, I am. Beyond infinity and eternity, I am. Each chakra within your body is potentially tuned to one of my principles. Each chakra within your body is a reflection of my creative expression. Each chakra within your body is a star. Together, your chakras form a miniature solar system of a kind. Each chakra is a miniature galaxy. Each chakra is a whirlpool of activity which sustains the illusion and the reality of my expression through you, through others, 
be they big or small, infinitely large or infinitely minute. It is all relative, of course. Life twists in and out of itself, and therefore what is small from one angle can seem huge, and what appears to be enormous from another point of view can appear to be very, very small. A hint, maybe, that no one appearance should fool you. Life is concealed from the eyes of those who do not know it well simply because they confuse the orders of magnitude involved in my creation or manifestation and what lies beyond the creative arena. Whatever I am should not induce you to worship me, as if I was some sort of ego-pompous deity sitting on some celestial throne. That's fine for those who wish to be deluded, by priests, by those who try and exploit sentiment, feeling, and emotions, who are perhaps and undoubtedly deluded themselves. I am very simple, really. I am both infinitely small and infinitely big, and neither. I am both female and male, yet truly androgynous. I am an essence, an essence which animates everything which moves and lives, including you. Imagine, though it is not imaginable by you, (laughs) that you were permitted access to what the super universe is. Layers upon layers upon layers of strata or energy scapes, vast beyond all comprehension, vast beyond all description, vast in a way which even makes the word vast seem meaningless. All that is true, and yet I remain simple. My essential being has its roots in simplicity itself quite regardless of how complex or how infinite my expression may be. This is as true of you as it is of me, because you are a part of me, even in a sense, as I am a part of you. To tag labels on me as a fruitless pastime, it can only lead to deception or illusion. To call me by this or that name is a fantasy which may on occasions appeal to you, yet it is equally meaningless. Here you see, you are reading words. How many of you understand what I am really saying? Only those of you who have seen me, a part of me, within yourselves. All religions are useless, and yet they can, in their own distorted manner, point out something, although more than likely they will point you in the wrong direction. Religions are not what you need. Vision is what you need. The ability to perceive what I am saying here, and what is there between the words, between the letters and the lines, leading to your own personal experience of what it is that I am. Your own personal revelation of what I am, and what you are also. Cast aside for a moment what you see of life around you. It may be beautiful. It may seem strenuous. It may seem like all sorts of things. But that is just the illusion perpetuated by your propensity to accept these appearances as real. Imagine that there was no space, no time, no energy, and no matter. What would there be? No thingness. <laughs> no thingness. Even the word nothing means not in this respect. I am nothing. I am everything and all, and so are you, by extension, after a fashion. Believing in life, in me, is not enough. Knowing it is an inexhaustible subject, a challenge to be sure, nevertheless it all depends on what you want to see, and hear, and feel, and sense. You create the universes around yourselves, even as I do. This is the point I would like to make. It is all projection. And this, regardless of how real or how illusionary it may seem to you or to any other being, regardless of how evolved or unevolved that being may be, which is always a relative consideration anyway. These projections are useful. They serve a purpose to evolve means and ways of living, of appreciating the possibilities inherent within each potential state to be explored, known, enjoyed, sensed, and then created, refreshed, changed, annulled, reborn anew in a different way, perhaps for a different purpose. If I were to tell you that there were universes millions, trillions, zillions of your years ago, what would that mean to you? Where did it all begin? Was there a beginning? Is there an end? Will there be a time when all dissolves and re-becomes not, nothing, meaningless, and insignificant? Again, it is all relative. There are beginnings and ends, yet they are always relative. There is no specific beginning, just as there will be no final end. For as long as any being wishes to project life, then there will be a manifestation of some kind or another, beyond time and space. However, there are those who rest, who wait, without waiting, until such a point when they feel like projecting again. Does that sound clear in any way to you? This is the true beauty of life. It can be projected and it can be arrested. These things are subject to cycles of time simply because that is the only way in which to maintain the coherency of a projection. Without including time, these projections would fall apart faster than they could be lived or even created in the first instance. 
Time is the length of duration of a projection. Your true home is in nothingness. That is the central home of all beings, including myself, the cosmic goddess, whatever it is that I am. Yet there is no need to panic. That no- nothingness is not threatening. You can dwell there until you wish to project universes once again and experience whatever it is that you want to experience or discover or experiment with or come to terms with. And why not? Who says that you do not have this right? Who will maintain that you are not fit to project a universe or universes? Who has any right to restrict any being from manifesting herself as she deems to be interesting or useful or pleasurable or even necessary? No one, no one, no one. To be a goddess, particularly a cosmic goddess, does engender certain obligations. Toward all the varied parts of oneself, one may have precipitated into the dance of one's own projection. I have obligations toward you in this respect. You, in turn, have certain obligations towards me because you are a part of me. Yet, there are others. There are other cosmic goddesses who, like me, are projecting themselves through the highways and byways of their own creations. Forget about space, which is illusionary. In any event, there is an infinity of space in which to project universes. Therefore, there's room for an infinity of universes, super universes, ultra universes, and so on. One can even project into someone else's universe just to see what is happening there, maybe. You, you who are reading this, are already goddesses within yourselves. What you are doing now is little more than learning the ropes of how to project a universe by projecting yourself into the universe which surrounds you, which is my own, or to be more correct, a small part of my own. There is no time, really. Yet in another slice of time, you are already projecting whole universes. Because in that slice of time, you have already achieved your potential for being a goddess. Each one of you, individually, as well as collectively. In another slice of time, not that you need to be concerned by this, you're a tiny bit of almost nothing at the very beginning of its evolution. What applies to you applies to me, if now in a different manner. Yet from another point of view, I represent your future or something akin to your future. There's only oneness, only one being, and yet an infinity of beings and an infinity of infinities. Not that this much makes much sense, except in a subjective way. I leave you with these thoughts, these perceptions, these truths, these little hints. <laughs> that was cool. I like that one a lot. I like how the, what instantly came to mind is uh, a song when he talked about, when it, the cosmic goddess talked about reading between the lines. It made me think of a song uh, many years ago that my brother and Dalian who edits the show and was the co-host early on, uh, made together, which actually makes me think of, uh, my brother starting to produce music again. And yesterday I was having lunch with him and he's really been trying to figure out what he wants to refer to the project. And a name came to me that I think he's going to actually use. And it is sojourn S O J O U R N, which means like a temporary stay. And uh, I think it's a really cool word. And, um, you know, it's musical journey, right? So I'm really excited for the music that he's going to be pro- producing, which is definitely in sort of the vein of some of my favorite music, uh, a la, you know, the artist Bonobo, who I don't really play on the show because I don't have a music license for, but that's probably my favorite. And it's definitely in that kind of vein and vibe. So, yeah. So here's a little flashback to Sojourn's last project, The Variance. The song is Between the Lines. So I feel like that's a good one to leave you guys with today. It talks from what I remember of the lyrics that my brother wrote. It uh, it talks about, it definitely hints at some of the things being said here. So yeah, I'm going to pull that one. I had another song queued up, but it seems appropriate to p- play the variance between the lines. Hope you enjoy. Till next time, journey well. Love all you cosmic gods and goddesses so, so much. Also, if you're craving more consciousness elevating content, be sure to check out Gaia, which is my personal go-to source for streaming consciousness content on the web, where you can stream an incredible 7,000 plus exclusive videos covering 5,000 years of wisdom. As you all hear me constantly say, it's a daily conscious effort to maintain an elevated vibration. And if you're looking to journey deep down the rabbit hole to do so, then Gaia is the best place I know of to do it, period. And you can sign up for your first month for only 99 cents at Gaia.com forward slash positive head. That's spelled G-A-I-A dot com forward slash positive head. Check it out. Is
stupid question Humanity is a keyword I'm faced with these lessons Yeah.